The common theme of today's readings is the benevolent, compassionate, forgiving mercy of God for sinners and the response of repentance and conversion expected from us. My dear friend, we have the Gospel of Luke chapter 19 verses 1 to 10 for our reflection today. Back in 1830, George Wilson was convicted of robbing the U.S. mail and was sentenced to be hanged. President Andrew Jackson issued a pardon for Wilson, but he refused to accept it. The matter went to Chief Justice Marshall, who concluded that Wilson would have to be executed. A pardon is a slip of paper, Ron Marshall the value of which is determined by the acceptance of the person to be pardoned. If it is refused, it is no pardon. George Wilson must be hanged. For some, the pardon comes too late. For others, the pardon is not accepted. Today's Gospel describes how the tax collector wholeheartedly accepted the pardon offered by Jesus. The common theme of today's readings is the benevolent, compassionate, forgiving mercy of God for sinners and the response of repentance and conversion expected from us. The first reading focuses on the love God has for all he has created, the love that overlooks sin so that all have time for repentance. God shows us his redemptive love through his mercy. The responsory at Psalm, the psalmist also tells us that the Lord is good to all and his compassion covers all that he has made. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The second reading, St. Paul encourages the Thessalonians to persevere in their Christian faith, giving glory to God without idly waiting for the second coming of Christ in their lifetime. It advises them to continue to live good Christian lives every day, allowing God to work in them so that they may be worthy of their vocation as Christians. Today's Gospel presents the story of the instantaneous conversion of the tax collector Zacchaeus, whom God's grace led to a moment of conversion. The account describes how Jesus recognized Zacchaeus for exactly what he was, a lost sinner in need of a savior, and shows us how God's grace worked in Zacchaeus to lead him from ideal curiosity to repentance, conversion, and restitution. The episode emphasizes the fact that such a conversion can only result from a person's fully receiving the love, acceptance, and grace offered to everyone by the merciful Lord. There are three challenges from the, for us from the readings today. First of all, we need to accept the divine invitation for repentance. We are all sinners to a greater or lesser degree. Jesus is inviting each one of us to a total conversion today. Let us remember that Jesus loves us in spite of our ugly thoughts, broken promises, solid idols, lack of prayer and faith, resentments and lust. Hence, let us admit our sinfulness and accept God's call to repentance, conversion and renewal of life. Secondly, let us love others as Jesus loves Zacchaeus despite his sins. Parents and teachers need to accept children lovingly without first setting up standards of behavior as conditions for being loved. Husband and wife may have qualities that irritate each other, but they should not, because of that, withhold love from one another. Nor should they withhold their love from a rebellious teenager, making stupid and even dangerous choices because of immaturity and peer pressure. Thirdly, we are called to generosity. Jesus wants us to move from our small and feeble faith to a greater and a more powerful faith, just as Zacchaeus did. 
he also wants us to be financially and spiritually generous reflect today does my encounter with jesus change me how am i called to repent what can i do to be more welcoming to those who are on the outside of society may the words of jesus redeem us amen